Okay. I want to talk a little bit uh, about the early days when you first started in architecture in Mexico City. You, you started in your own practice in Mexico City? Well, yes. At first, uh, I, at first I worked with uh, um, Obregón Santa Celia, who was a very, very well-known architect in those days, uh, and also with Villagran, but less with Villagran than with uh, Obregón Santa Celia. But uh, after a few years, I don't know, maybe five or six years, something like that, I started to work uh, by myself. What was it like when you first started? Was it difficult? Uh, well, it was very difficult, very, very difficult. But because in those uh, times, there, there were few architects uh, in Mexico. And even the profession uh, uh, of architects uh, were uh, not very well differentiated from the engineer. Oh. It was, uh, as I have told you, the School of Architecture in Mexico was the first one because it is uh, uh, in 1783, the year who was founded uh, the School of Architecture in, uh, in uh, Mexico, that means uh, Almost two years, two years, two two thousand years. Almost, almost. I think now, in three more years, it would be two hundred mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. But even so, and even we have a very very long tradition about uh, <coughs> architecture. Uh, even so, uh, in those moments. Uh, there were a few architects, so the um, uh, there were more, more much more uh, uh, well-known engineers than the architecture, the, the architects, and also uh, don't forget that uh, in the, for instance, in the, in the moment I finished the school, that means in uh, 1930. Well, it was uh, 12 years that the revolution uh, has uh, finished. So in those moments, uh, you can do architecture uh, in the moment uh, you have uh, uh, fights with. <laughs> now the revolution was going The revolution, you can do architecture. So it was a uh, very, very little construction, very little yeah. construction. In that moment, I remember, I mean, uh, even Mexico has uh, not yet arrived to have uh, one million. Nowadays, we have uh, 14. Uh, but um, in this moment, it was really, well, it, it was the capital. But uh, if we look, look uh, to, the, to the world, uh, really Mexico was uh, <laughs> well, a country, a, co a country, a country, a little country. A young country. No, no, not, not, young, in, not no. young in years, no. but in sophistication. No, it was a provincial country. <coughs> provincial. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Very provincial. Everybody knows, knows each other. It was very provincial. So you studied uh, with Via Gran? Well, we, I, I have studied, and uh, we, we asked the for Villagran to give the, the, the first, um, uh, well, the first class in, uh, when I was a student. So I became the first uh, disciple of him. And then when you graduated, you were able to travel? Well, I, 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 I told you that yeah. I was able to travel because I, I won in lottery. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, in the moment.
moment I won the lottery, and in those moments where the the dollar and the peso really, really, really had the value, it was very important. And so you were able to travel to Europe? Yes. During one year, yeah. yes. And then when you came back, you started practicing. Exactly, exactly. How was the acceptance of modern design in the, in the 1930s in Mexico? It wasn't accepted. No. That was the difficulty of ourselves. Yes. Because we have to do a really, really, a really fight uh, to impose uh, new ideas, uh, but really, really a fight, a fight that uh, if you can convince, convince, yeah. convince uh, uh, the, uh, how you call it, not the people, but the, the people who you talk uh, with. The leaders? No, the people. The clients? With the clients. You lose the job. Yes. Or you do what I want, yeah. and uh, we were young, and we don't want to do what I want. So we lose a lot, a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs. And uh, <coughs> it was difficult to us to convince uh, the people of do what we thought uh, it was a good attitude. Maybe it was not, but what we we thought. Uh, it was uh, the real good attitude. Where did the ideas come from to, to begin uh, introducing modern design? Well, <coughs> in the moment uh, we arrived at the ideas of what we call the functionalism. Uh, and the functionalism in Mexico uh, uh, was a very, very important and, ve and a very, very strong, uh, um, how you call it, of philosophy, yes, yes. a very, very strong one. And even uh, in Mexico, it, um, uh, it, uh, it rose uh, to, uh, most radical position, the most radical position in account of uh, the tradition of, of the function. I think maybe, it, it, I think really, uh, theoretical, I don't think there were many, many countries who were so radical uh, in the function in like Mexico. Hmm. And that, in, that influence came from Europe, the from Europe. But in Dutch. Mexico, in Mexico they grew to be radical. In certain moments there were um, uh, young architects <coughs> companions, companions, of, companions of myself who uh, uh, think that the architecture was not that it was a so called a science. And, uh, and a, a, a very, uh, I could call it, very true, not, not true, a very true science. <laughs> and they told that the art has, has nothing to do with architecture. It was very, very interesting, the, this moment, uh, it was in the first uh, years of the 30s. Very interesting in uh, this moment in Mexico. And the theoretical uh, discussion were almost uh, <laughs> trying to fight each other. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, it was very important. And then, and then later on, they became less. Well, uh, later, strong. later, they they started to understand that uh, what they have said in the moment uh, of 
most uh, uh, tension. Uh, it was not uh, even possible uh, to live. That means, theoretical, uh, you can say that the architecture uh, is, is uh, a science, but only the theoretical. Yeah. But you can live it. You can leave it uh, as architecture, like uh, science. Only if you consider that the architecture is construction, only construction. That's the science of building. But it is not architecture. Yeah. So art came back into architecture. Eh? Yes. <laughs> After several years, yes, uh, they started to uh, understand that it was not possible to to leave this, uh, and even the leaders, uh, companions of myself, uh, uh, the leaders of that uh, extreme position of the of the functionalism, uh, even they make statements. Absolutely different on the contrary of what I have uh, uh, told uh, ten years ago uh, before. Yes. Well, they have grown to another point of view. Exactly. How do you feel the um, the influence from Europe mixed with the cultural background of the Mexican architecture? Well, <coughs> I think at that moment. Uh, the the most important uh, influence, uh, I think, it was uh, well direct from the Corbusier of the thinking uh, thoughts of Le Corbusier. Uh, I have told you even more than his own words. More important the the thoughts. Uh, of the Corbusier that, that his own works. But I, nowadays I understand in those moments, uh, in those moments uh, I didn't realize that what was, uh, well, behind the Corbusier was the thinking of Robbins. Yes. Yes, of course. The real uh, important man of uh, thinking in those days was Robson. Hmm. Uh, uh, what has happened that I think now that uh, Le Corbusier has a real, real power and a real importance uh, of uh, of uh, express himself, and he was real a, a, a man of our time in in the way that he he, he was a man of publicity. Uh, we would say he's a good PR public man. Extraordinary, extraordinary. That was not uh, the kind of Gropius. Mm -hmm. Gropius was much more a scholar, scholar, yes. much more. And a, a thinking uh, uh, he has a thought, very, very German thought, very disciplined thought. Yes, yes. But I think that the man who is uh, behind all, all that moment is dropping. I think the only time, uh, one of the few times that they were in direct uh, in touch with each other was uh, perhaps working in the Baron's office in Germany when Gropius was a very young man. I mean when uh, Le Corbusier was a very young man. Well, all of them. Yeah. Gropius, uh, Gropius was uh, three years uh, older than Le Corbusier. Three years older. But uh, I think you can't compare anything, anything in, in the modern world about than uh, the the bar house. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. And you, and 
The powerhouse is what everything uh, uh, who have started the new thinking, not only in construction, but in the understanding of uh, the new methods and the new uh, uh, ideas of what art is in account of man came from Bauhaus. Had a very strong influence around the whole world. But in that moment, we thought that uh, Le Corbusier was the, was the, let us see, the leader influence. But when you, when you start to think uh, that uh, you are a little older, no, mm. it's corrupted. Mm. That's very interesting. Mm. What, what do you think, where do you think the influences are coming from today? But I think uh, the, the mother was is dominated only by one or two people, like always it has been. And I think the all the modern ideas come really I think, nowadays uh, from uh, states. If we, even if they don't want. They don't want to admit it, you mean? It's still... Even if they think uh, they don't have uh, those ideas, they communicate even though. You're talking about the technology? That of course. Not the technology, more important, the philosophy. Mm -hmm. Much more important. Who do you think has influenced today philosophically from the United States? Well, I can't, I can't tell you about the names. Mm -hmm. and, and they are unimportant. They are maybe unimportant. The important is that the ideas are there. Uh, for instance, I think in the moment I say that uh, um, Bauhaus was uh, so important, it is because in this moment, really, uh, Germany has a very, very, a very strong influence all over the world. In the, in the world of design, at that no, point? No, the design, in the world of philosophy. Philosophy. It's much more important than design. The design came later. You mean prior to the Bauhaus? Eh? Prior to the Bauhaus. You're talking about... Well, no, the Bauhaus, yes because the, 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 how, the Bauhaus is not a design, it is a philosophy. Mm -hmm. It is a way of living. And that's the influence that you felt had so much importance. Mm -hmm. That's why I think. It's very interesting to hear you say that today when those influences are being played down. Mm -hmm. Because today, they don't look, people don't look at the Bauhaus as a strong influence. Oh. But it's interesting for one who lived through those years. No, I don't understand because we are leaving the Bauhaus. Yeah. Nowadays still, we are leaving. Still, you still feel the influence. We are seated in the chair, <laughs> that behind this chair is the idea, the idea of the Bauhaus behind this chair. 
When you travel, for instance, in the, in the countries who uh, have not yet uh, or when, when they uh, when they don't have yet uh, uh, arrived in the Bauhaus, you you can you can think what that means. For instance, when I travel to Russia, back it was in. Uh, I was, I think, 22 years ago, 58, I think, 58, yes, maybe, 58, 57, 57, 58, well, I remember very well, I was uh, uh, traveling with a, a deal, a great deal of actors, because it was a, Ah, well, it was the IA. The International? No, no. Oh, The International Architectural Association. In 58, well. And after you ha we have traveled, uh, let's uh, think, uh, 15 days. 15 days, I told them, are you uncomfortable? And everything, everyone told me, yes, we are. And why? You are uncomfortable, I told them. Nobody could tell me. But I, I tell them, I am going to tell you why you are uncomfortable. Because we are not living the feel of the art of the modern art here in any way. Because it was suppressed. No, no, because no. they they know they didn't know, I think, even the name of the bar house. And for instance, I told them, have you noticed that we are seated in a chair that is awful. <laughs> yes, it's awful, the chair. But have you noticed that the, how you call the, how you call that? No. What do you call that? Oh, the chair. The seat. Eh? The seat. No. What the you material? Call it? The material. How you call that? Uh, this is canvas. Eh? Canvas. Well, no, 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 in general. The fabric, material, fabric. fabric for a chair. Yes. The fabric is even uh, much more awful than the chair. Yes, really, really just true. And have you noticed that, the, for instance, the lamp, or lamp. the lamp is much more awful than the chair and the material? It is, all things were really, really uh, not only on, but out of the thinking of the modern world. And we started after you live there 15 or 20 days, you started to, to feel uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I, I feel that you felt that way, and one feels that way, even today, uh, because modern art was not permitted to develop there. After 1930, you know, there was that period of the 20s that was very creative when the constructivists, no, artists and architects... No, but don't forget, not, not, don't forget what means, uh, for instance, uh, 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 the, the Bauhaus. The thinking of the Bauhaus was very important. That was that the modern world <coughs> was uh, very developed, very developed, developed, very, and the art 
was the game. If you notice, uh, for instance, uh, how you call it? Ref refrigeration? No, you don't have that. Well, but the, the refrigerator itself. If you if you see if you see a refrigerator before a bar, bar house, you see it's an awful uh, awful uh, abstract. Mm -hmm. awful. But it works. Maybe it works as uh, uh, as well uh, as the nowadays. Maybe, but the 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 housing the housing was horrible, horrible. Why? Because this housing was made by the by the man who who was only a, a how you call it? technician, fabricant, the who was who manufacturer. And he man man manufactured, he manufactured a, a thing who worked, but for, for him it was not important as if it was uh, 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 really uh, a thing uh, uh, that's well designed. Well designed. For me, it was important. It was an important. Also, if you take a, uh, how you call it with uh, what you, uh, iron? Yeah. Ironing. Yeah. You have noticed the ironing of, uh, uh, for instance, uh, in uh, 1920. It was open. And you have noticed how is a, an uh, iron machine nowadays. It's beautiful. That's my house. <laughs> okay. You really think that hey? that's the bar house? No, no, I'm not thinking. It was a piece. All right. No, it's not it's my strongest, idea. No. No, 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 it is not a discussion of if, if I have a, if it is true what I am saying. No, I'm not, I'm not no, questioning that, but I'm trying hey. to um, pinpoint what you, what you are saying that you feel that the Bauhaus was the strongest influence of modern times. Exactly. I, we are living in the ideas of the Bauhaus. But that means the ideas of the Bauhaus uh, confirm the modern world. And the modern world is with the forms given by the Gaba house. That have developed since those days. I, I can agree with and, that. And you can notice absolutely uh, before the Gaba house and after the house. It's like uh, when you are praying, before the, the how you call it, the Nessans, or how, how you call it, the birth. Eh, the birth. Birth. The best of Christian and the after, uh, after Christian was best, it's the same. Let's go back for a minute to your work. If, if you uh, had to choose just a few projects, because you have had such a large practice for so many years, how many years have you been practicing? Since, uh, <laughs> 1930? 50 years. That's marvelous, and you're still actively practicing. If you had to choose just a few projects, which ones would be the ones that you're well, the most proud of? I have to tell you that uh, the one I, I work with more and more ple pleasure is the house, housing. Because uh, mm, housing express the more closely how man is. House and man are uh, absolutely identified. 
absolutely. So uh, that's why I am very fond of uh, the design of the house because uh, really we are, you are dealing with uh, what is the man and what and how differentiated or not is this man, what he thinks, what he feels, what he wants, what he needs, how we live. No, non program you can find more related to man than the house. So that has given you the most satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Private residence or well, housing in general? Well, housing in general, but uh, really private means more specific. The private house is more specific than the uh, uh, community, house, uh, community housing. Even though a community house also expresses very important things because he expresses the community, uh, the, the um, uh, community uh, house express uh, what are the general feelings of the community. Not for a, not not only for of, of a man, but of a community. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were at the National University of Mexico. That's right, right? yes. But the old one, yeah? The old, I studied in the, uh, the old one and I had my thesis, my last work in yes. the new one. The new one. Ah, so you graduated I from the new university. Uh -huh. In what, 1954? 1954, yes. that's right. Yes. Sure. What was your thesis project? My thesis was about a cultural center cultural uh, for center. Mexico. Uh -huh. yes. I have a, a honorific distinction of, of my thesis, and, and I have a very Congratulations, uh -huh. because Diego Rivera is a very good painter. Ah, Diego Rivera, He yes. makes a conference uh -huh. uh, of my work, and he liked it very much. And, uh, and it was very surprised because Diego Rivera was against universities. Remember, he was very communist. He was uh -huh. in the side of the polytechnics. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's very interesting that he was involved. At that level, and then when you when you graduated, did you uh, go to work in uh, an architect's office in Mexico City? I worked City? for the government in the, in the, uh, uh, was a committee of uh, building for building schools, uh -huh. uh, a committee of, uh, of schools, government so, office, yes, uh, uh -huh. plan the schools for mm -hmm. the republic. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you were a young man, whose work did you admire? Well, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes? My mother was uh, really a, a character, as you call, because she, uh, she loves to to draw houses yes? and, uh, and uh, paper, square paper. He drawing, he built a lot of things. Yes. He never gave give me any house to build. No, no, no. But uh, uh, as in. In, in the world of architecture, oh, was yes, there anyone? Of course, uh, I think Le Corbusier, uh, first uh, Oscar Neymar, uh, Frank Wright, I think, yes. in the third. Uh, yes, I was I was interested uh -huh. to hear that uh -huh. because of the organic aspect yes. of your work. I was joking about my mother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, joke. that's nice. That's nice. So you uh, you worked in a government office and then. Uh -huh. And I couldn't stand it to be, to work in, uh, out of, enajenado, I don't know the word, uh, out of reality, of uh -huh. enajena, uh, I, mm -hmm. I don't know the word in mm -hmm. English, because uh, sometimes the bureaucracy is uh, Kafkiana, no? Like Kafka. Yes. We don't know why we are working yes. for, and it's 
there. You thought it wasn't, I, the, real, wasn't was the real world of architecture that you wanted to no, be involved in? No, not because uh, the policy uh, is in, in the architecture uh, is a fail for, uh -huh. for any architecture. Uh -huh. So then you made a change? I changed and I started to work by my own. On your own? That's right. How old were you when you started on your own? I think I was about 26 years old. So that was very young to begin, in your own office. Well, a small office. Yes, uh, but isn't that unusual in Mexico, don't no, you? No, because uh, sometimes uh, you have relations, social relations, and the first time of your career, and you have a lot of jobs, sometimes uh -huh. more than yes. when you are older. Uh -huh. Because you, uh, you have a, that uh, uh, opportunity? opportunity of uh, parents or uh, a friendship of your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, that they give houses. Mm -hmm. So you had opportunity to build, yeah, to build at a very young, young age. Yes. Uh -huh. And you did houses? Yes. Yes, I start with houses, and I always like houses because for me it's the, the kind of laboratory of, uh, of the architecture. Yeah. Because uh, with social problems, you have to think it over a little more, no? And in houses, you can uh, speculate and uh, experiment mm -hmm. forms, mm -hmm. uh, different kind of functions. Mm -hmm. Explore ideas. Explore ideas, right. Uh -huh. So you did. Uh, Many houses through yes, that period, yes, and, and and then other projects as well. And yes, and, you know, with projects on universities and hospitals, uh, but the house is for me very interesting because you find the world in the house, no? Mm -hmm. And the identification with uh, the client is very important. The client and then the society, no? Yes. Looking back now over all the different kinds of projects that you've done, which was the most satisfying? I think uh, it's very relative, no? Uh, quantitative, uh, the military school, of course, is so big. It was a yes. big uh, challenge to, to, con to uh, have uh, the, the control of the, that big, uh, big uh, project. Plan, big project mm -hmm. and and uh, for the quantitative, I mean, quantitative, I think one of my office. Uh -huh. uh, when was your office built? Never, four years ago. Uh -huh. Because my office has the sense of the military school, not in, in the big spaces, but about the sense of uh, price planning forms, and it has uh, uh, portations, it's all right that word, well, different uh, way of uh, construction. Uh -huh. uh, no foundation at all, uh, wires uh, suspended. So it's a, u a unique structure. Yeah, yes. A structure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it is a very interesting, fascinating mm -hmm. building. When, when you started your practice, who was also building in Mexico? Who, who what other architects? Well, were? Al Augusto Alvarez, uh, a lot of Pani, mm -hmm. uh, they are older than me, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ricardo de Gorreta. Ricardo already was building uh -huh. at that time, yes? Oh, well, he was very young. He was, he was working, younger than me, but he was working with, with Villagran, with Villagran uh, for many uh -huh. years. But, uh -huh. yeah. So uh, I think you are unique since you went right into your own office. I think you were very different from the others in that you went right into your own practice. I think I'm very right different from yeah, the others. Right out of school. Uh -huh. No, first the government office and then, and then uh, into your own practice. Yes. Yeah. That it's very much like what uh, young people do here. Uh -huh. Very often. Yeah, because people. I don't believe in theories. I believe in practice. I think the theory is after practice. Mm -hmm. But it had you or after, after? Theories first and then practice? No, no, I mean practice is first, yes. and theories. Ah, in importance yeah. to you. But you have taught, have you not? Mm -hmm. You have been a teacher 
in yes, the school? Yes, 15 years. Ah, so you, uh, you also, uh -huh. through the same period, you have been practicing. Yes. How, how many years have you been in practice? Uh, teaching? No, in your practice. Uh, like an architect? Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to remember so many <laughs> years. <laughs> I, don't think I told you, I'm born the 29th of February, so four years. Uh -huh. I have one year. You're a leap year architect. Uh, I, I want to, uh, I, uh, to, uh, to believe that I am very young. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. My wife says I'm very mature. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you look, you look very young. Uh, very young. Well, I feel good. So, um, you uh, you liked Corbu when you were young. He, his work was published in Mexico. In his books. Yes, well, we can find any book you want in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And Niemeyer. Not Niemeyer, yes. The uh, work that he did in Brasilia, in uh, in Rio, mm -hmm. the um, more the you like the organic form. Yes, I like That's the organic form. That's what I want. No, I, I have the uh, two. Uh, uh, maybe I'm pieces and pieces. We are like this. No? I have a, a contradiction. My feelings, or not? Maybe it's not a contradiction. It's a duality mm -hmm. of uh, what I tell you about. The pre-Hispanic, I feel I, I have half or more, 80% India and 20% Spanish. Uh -huh. And I, I uh, have the feeling, I was telling to your husband, that there are two kinds of spaces in architecture, in our architecture. Pre-Hispanic is the space of cosmic space. Mm -hmm. It was the religion of, uh, of the sky. And with the conquest, we have the religion in the room, in the dark room. Oh, that's very poetic. Uh, very so I believe more in the pre-Hispanic because it's the planning for the future, to have the eyes looking at the stars. Uh -huh. uh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, so uh, the pre-Hispanic has the, the straight lines, the angles, but also they have the curves. There are pyramids, circular pyramids, and so I really I feel more the geometric uh, forms for uh, a kind of uh, planning, uh, um, big planning, master planning. So. And for homes, I think circles are more warmly, like Marcos even. I love both. The, the geometric and the circular. Mm -hmm. So because it's geometry, no? Geometry yeah. has three uh, aspects: the circle, the square, or the triangle. No more. There are three forms, in, in, uh, only three forms, and the combination of those three forms. And you, do you feel that the beginning of that influence came out of the, your study of the pre-Hispanic? architecture of Mexico. Mm -hmm. So that really links you I read a lot of uh, pre-Hispanic. Even I read more. I think it was a great, very great uh, uh, people and they have a, a great religion. But we know only the bad or the, uh, the the sacrifice of those things, but it was a very esoteric uh, religion. Very profound. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything, even a little statue this big, has a lot of meaning. Every form, every angle, every Greco you call throw has a profound philosophic uh, meaning. Every color has an meaning to it. Uh -huh. Ah, that's something I wanted to ask you about color. Mm -hmm. You don't use color in a in a painted on way. I don't believe in colors because I think uh, to paint is for a painter. It's a how you call 
manual uh, crafts. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's for a painter. And the color in architecture has to give uh, the material. The material has their own color. And we have to respect that color. If we want to change color, we can use uh, glasses with color, uh, marbles with color. And so you natural, can see the natural, uh, the natural materials with material, the natural color. The reflection of the carpet and the wall, you have a color. Uh, the reflection of the suit and the wall chains. Yes. That's very interesting because um, of the Mexican architects who do use color. So that's really well, a, I think it's a, 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 a divergence of view. Scenography. Scenography. To use color. Mm -hmm. I, I think poem is so uh, rich, but you don't, if you have form, you don't need color. You need, need color, but there's a, a plain wall. You don't need color because you're afraid of empty spaces. Your horror is vacui, you say in, in Latin. You're afraid of empty. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. translation. No, that's very good. No, that's wonderful. Mm. But you're you're working also with this sculptural quality in your work. Mm -hmm. That uh, when you use a curved form. Well, I I think architecture has to be sculpture. I don't believe in sculpture. I think sculpture has to be functional. Sculpture is a car. Sculpture is a, a airplane, a rocket. I think it's. Uh, to have sculptures, to make a sculpture is a waste of time. It's only commerce. It's only merchandise. I think uh, architecture could be always a sculpture, a living sculpture. Sculpture that people live in. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to integrate the arts and to make sculpture architecture, and not to put the sculpture inside the architecture. I talk to my pupils sometimes, you see a beautiful woman, and you say, well, it's not so beautiful, let's put him a little, uh, how you call it, are it is this? Earring. Uh, earring, or here is a little. To decorate. To decorate, but he, she doesn't need any. <laughs> how how do you feel about the work of Frank Lloyd Wright? Which of his uh, oh, works did you really oh, enjoy? Oh, he was a really genius. Uh, he was a mutante. I don't know the word. He belongs, uh, belongs for the 20th century, 21 century. He was out of his time, really he's fantastic. Which projects did you especially the people, admire? Uh, their house, his houses, uh, uh, Wuhenheim, Guggenheim yeah, Museum. Yeah, that was, yeah. I think he's one of the greatest architects. Yeah, well, I think, I think we look at him that way, too, as a, uh, probably the most influential of the American architects in the world, certainly, and, and one of the greatest. I would agree with you on that. But I do see a similarity in some of the forms yeah. You know, so I was curious as to uh, because he he, he was a man very uh, he was a visual he wanted to discover and to look in the ancient architectures uh, forms new forms he loves Maya no and the yes. Uh, yes uh, suppose I remember my hospital that's circular yes. It's a, a pyramid, a Calislawaka, that way. Inverted. It's not Guggenheim. It's a, a uh -huh. pyramid this uh -huh. way. It's a circular pyramid near uh, Mexico City. It's circular that way. Uh, four floors. Mm -hmm. So your influence was closer. Close to closer the to your Hispanic. Yes. <laughs> yes. What else is important to you? I 
many cars. Well, <laughs> 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 other things, of course. Yeah, in, in design. Uh, fine design. But I think uh, life is so important. If we think only in, uh, in architecture, we don't make anything. I think uh, we have to be interested in life and then in architecture to release ourselves, our, our human beings, and uh, then up, uh, and up, uh, after that, like architects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're interested in dance also. But I'm, I like to dance, but... <laughs> but, uh, but like modern dance, you mentioned well, Alan yes, Nicolai. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, as, a, yeah. as another yeah, art Everything is connected with space. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Came on. <laughs> <laughs> we were five minutes. <laughs> uh, uh, it's um, yeah, I got it. Um, it. It's really wonderful that you took the time to come and visit us, especially after your trip to Europe. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a very nice time. Perhaps I have always a feet, uh, foot, very cold yes. in a plane, not yes. <laughs> in a plane. Yes. I love to travel. Well, it's very nice of you to oh, come and share you. your work with us. We're very pleased to have you here. Hope it will be a good stay. I'm speaking this evening with uh, two very important architects who are visiting with us from Mexico City at SciArc. Uh, Abram Zablodowski on my right and Teodoro Gonzalez de Leon on my left. And uh, they represent uh, what I feel to be uh, the, the new generation of architects like uh, 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 Vasquez uh, Ramirez said, right, in Mexico. Uh, those who came up uh, through the new, the new university, the national university. Uh, I was very interested to, um, to hear Enrique del Moral discuss how when he was working on the master plan, he worked with the senior class. And I understand both of you were in that class who worked on that uh, master plan. Do you have any uh, memories of that experience? Or Yes. <laughs> would you share them with us? Because uh, very special memories. Um, <coughs> the National University was uh, National concourse, uh, concourse, uh, competition. competition, and uh, there was only five entries. Only five architects uh, get in, in made entries. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, we, like students, we were very. It was 1946. We, we were very sad to see all the work of the our teachers and the entries. Mm -hmm. It was very sad. You were disappointed? Yes, and we formed a little group of three students and make a proposition who at final was accepted and very It was very good, no, no, very it's difficult. All right. eh? it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, they pick our ideas in the final plan. Mm -hmm. It was a very uh, Corbusian idea, and uh, but I think the the central point of our idea was the the central point of the, the, the development of the urban planet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at the end. Mm -hmm. Were you also involved in that approach? No, I, no? I, I no. Uh, Teodoro Did was involved. I haven't been. We were I, only, I only was involved looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> I look old. I look, no, no, no. I was very exciting because I looked all the process. You know, I was involved to looking the process. Yes, that was <laughs> I know everything about this. It was a very exciting time because the students 
fight against the teachers, uh -huh. and the teachers, they felt like it was an insult to the to his uh, large uh, uh, activities, professional, mm -hmm. that some uh, few young people can make some uh, some uh, how do you say uh, a fight, uh, mm -hmm. new ideas, and mm -hmm. and. Uh, to these big masters, and it was very exciting at the time, very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. For all, all of us, it was very exciting, yes. But, That's but true. Enrique did speak about that. Yes. That the student plan was, that they did it together. So oh, that was they, the they say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's it. Yeah. That's a good approach. He, <laughs> he, he talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, the, the students were working on it, and, and uh, yes. I was very impressed to hear that. It was a challenge for the for the teachers, you know. So it was a yeah. challenge. Yeah. Uh, I think it's very interesting to comment. Uh, in um, in these times, we were about uh, sixty in each uh, group, in about three hundred people in the school, and. We discuss our uh, our qualifications with the teachers. Why you put that? Why do you say this bad that? Uh -huh. And and I think this uh, relation with the uh, teachers was very interesting for the formation of the. It's not the, now the school in Mexico is uh, very sad because he, they have about. 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. Very large, yes. They can't do anything. After this uh, uh, fight with the teachers, uh, we all of us become very good friends of the same teachers. Ah. Years after years, no? Yeah. Yes. After it, they uh, accepted it. Uh, after they accepted it. Uh, it was, yeah. uh, Pani it was and not, not, for ah, not very yeah. easy, all the... Ah, so Pani and Dolores yes, were those who was were challenged by... Were together, were together, yes. Ah, so that is interesting to hear him talk about it with pride mm -hmm. now. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Well, it's a few years later, so it's easier to look back on it. It's many years. Uh, yeah. Uh, like yes. It's many years. Yes, but it was a time that it was very difficult, the relations, no? Yes. Uh, 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 the relation was broke. Absolutely broke. Yes. I, and I think the, in my case, I I left the school in this uh, year. This time. I, I had a, a, a beca, it's a fellowship uh -huh. to develop the French government yes. to study in France. And I forgot the Mexican school. I never went to school, not to teach, not to finish. Because the relation was very, very mm -hmm. angry, mm -hmm. very tense. Mm -hmm. But now it's all right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, ta the times clean everything. Yes, with time. With time. Time. We say yeah. time heals all wounds. Yes. But a after graduation, you immediately uh, became involved in uh, development. Is that right? Yes, I right yeah. I began to to work in construction, in buildings, uh, before I finished. Ah. Before, yes. I was involved in building some houses, some small buildings, yes. Many times, like, a, not only like an architect, no, but a, like a builder, and like mm -hmm. many things. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very hard time, yes, because I was studying to do everything, but it was very, very a good uh, discipline mm -hmm. because and a good learning, you, I would think. Yes, a good learning, a learning. good learning. Yes, it gives you an idea of all the 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 different uh, uh, phases of the construction, not only the project. Yes, the construction, the economical point of view, and many things. Mm -hmm. And then you began to work on. Uh, client projects? Yes. And you and began your practice of art? Of course. But what, after this... What, uh, what year was that about that you began your practice? Well, I think it uh, was about uh, 
the early 50s. No, the early 50s, 1952, 1951. Oh, it was very early. Yes, yes, in this, in this years, begin. Well, you also begin these years, no? Yeah. You back in 51, 52, and I began to build some uh, apartment buildings and houses. In this time, I built it a lot of houses, but now it's I don't build many houses. I think it's very difficult to build a house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very difficult. And after graduation, you had your trip to Paris. No, I I, I graduated. Yes. Very late. I came from Paris, and I don't uh, finish the school. Ah. So you yeah. left before graduation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. And yeah. you had a very exciting I adventure. I two Paris. years with Le Corbusier, and yeah. uh, and then I came, and uh, I don't, I didn't feel to finish the school after the experience of Le Corbusier. Yes, <laughs> well, that was like I, I, that was like continuing at a graduate level to work in the atelier of Le Corbusier. I wanted I to build. And I have a chance uh, to build a house, a big residence of uh, about 1,000 meters, square meters. It's about uh, in 10,000 10, square, 10, square feet. It's square feet. Square feet. And we made this uh, large residence absolutely prefabricated in three years of work, like a uh, laboratory. I learned to, to, to build. I think it was a very good experience. Uh, a magnificent client to, he, th he thought we, we can do the things. That's and wonderful, <laughs> wonderful incredible. experience. The time was just right for you yes. to have that. It was a very good, three years in this experiment mm -hmm. house. He, he's still alive, the, the house. Yes, living yeah. in the house. Yes, the, the, the client lives. <laughs> Wonderful. So it worked. Worked well for him. He likes it because he amused doing that. When you were just beginning your practice, who were the architects that you admired? What work did you look at and were you influenced by? Well, you see, in that time, it began, of course, in the architecture school in Mexico. It began the big influence of the works of Le Corbusier. In that time, it came the books and all the things. And, of course, he was the biggest influence in our studies. And in that time, also, I think we have some special look for Oscar Niemeyer works where he began. Yeah. His first work was very, very successful and very published in this time. And of course, we was involved with all the the teacher that was teaching us in Mexico, and they was building in that time a lot of things. Uh, so the faculty were uh, also practicing architecture. Yes, the, doing the teachers, work. the teachers of the school was in that time Del Moral. Pani, Augusto Alvarez, and they was uh, mm -hmm. building all Mexico. They was building a lot, a lot of work. A yeah. lot of yeah. work. Yeah. I yeah. think that between us, a, an architect like Mario Pani, I think that it's very few people in the in the in the world that uh, can afford to build the the, 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 the the size of the thing that he was building in that time. Well, all this has a big influence of us, of course, of course. Later, of course, we took a big uh, critic of these things. Yeah. Later, a few a few years later, when we uh, well, we, when we had more experience, uh, well, we had more experience, and we when we saw another things in the world and another things in the book, and uh, we studied the more more deep, we see something that uh, I didn't like too much, and uh, I was very critical after yeah, this. Yeah. After this, but in the, the time of the school, I think that they have a big influence over, over us, all these people. We cannot uh, uh, say uh, only that it's, it's nothing. It was a big influence, and they, <laughs> they uh, 
had a, a time that they, they, they have their time in, in Mexican architecture, and this was the time. Mm -hmm. And there was also the, 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 the School of Architecture had in that time six uh, uh, teachers of, 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 uh, architect of design, and all these six people were the six main teachers. Yeah. That's very uh, understandable, that. Yeah. And, and your influences? Well, um, similar? Yeah, I similar, but uh, I, I think it begins in the, in the middle of the 50s. One influence was, to, for me, very important, the work of Mies van der Rohe. Uh, I, I finished the influence of Le Corbusier in the middle of the, I begin to learn the, the work of Mies van der Rohe because we were very involved with the prefabrication and with the modules and all that. Mm -hmm. That was a period of about five or eight years. We were very involved with the work of Bees van der Rohe and the work of systems and uh, modular design and all that. Now, I, I don't think like that, but it was a very good experience. And uh, in the other way, we had the influence of Le Corbusier in the urban and planning. Uh -huh. We made uh, many studies of uh, cities of Mexico to planos reguladores. Mm -hmm. We call a regulation plan mm -hmm. of one city. Mm -hmm. Like a master plan. Master plan. Master plan. Okay. Master and, uh, that was very disappointed at, at the end because the work of uh, urban planning, the authorities who put these plans in action don't see anything mm -hmm. of our plans. Nobody of our, nothing of our work. We made two plans together with, two, with two, two, perhaps yes. it was the first work we made together. We came together again, yes, uh, after the school. Uh -huh. Yes, it so was, two was in the early 60s. Early 60s yes, it yeah. was to plan uh, in uh, two big uh, oil cities now. It was in this time also uh -huh. oil cities. Uh -huh. And I think that after these 20 uh, years, they are worse now than it was in that time. But, uh, yes. A lot Nothing happened with our studies. No, no, a lot of work. But nobody cares with this no. studies. Mm -hmm. Nobody is involved in in really change the city, the mm -hmm. the the, scener the scenery of our life, mm -hmm. of daily life. Mm -hmm. They were avant-garde for the time. But now it's the same, I think. It was an avant-garde. I think no. it was a time that uh, it's, uh, some people was involved in it was the moment that it was involved some of the politicians, that uh, it was politicians, that they was architects and they was involved with architecture. And maybe they, they sincerely thought to do something, but when it was to, to, to take some emissions to, 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 to practice this, they, 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 I think that they, they couldn't afford. Mm -hmm. It was uh, against many interests. It was the, the local interest and against everything. So it too, I political. Think that it's, uh, too political. Too political. To I implement. think it's a political yeah. and economical thing. No, yeah, it's well, uh, we it's all the system. The same problem. So yes, so all, all the world is the same problem. Yes, exactly. The same problem. Then, uh, it's, it's not a, I, uh, I am sure that uh, all these master plans is not a problem of architecture. It's like uh, when we speak about uh, that the city is growing too fast and we must be, take smaller cities. It's not a problem of architects. It's a problem of other people, of politicians, of economicals, of, uh, of uh, regulation, of master plan. But master plan not in the design. Mm -hmm. Master plan in economical and administrative mm -hmm. point of view. Mm -hmm. I think that the same thing is this. The design of a master plan comes at, at the final. Uh, it's involved with many other things that it's stronger. Mm -hmm. I think it's the reason because we couldn't afford anything. Yeah.
I think uh, the architect wants to, to find the scale of, uh, of his work in this kind of work. When he is uh, trying to make uh, urban design, if he makes a big scale plan, I think it's, it's bad that because nobody can uh, uh, implement implemented it? that. It's, uh, it's out of scale. Yeah. I think the, the clever in, in this for the architects to find the scale of the work. I can control this part mm -hmm. and uh, the promoter uh, is scale of this. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to be very interesting for the school to teach that, to teach the, which is the scale of the work in this kind of. Mm -hmm. Well, and this time was also the big influence of Brasilia. You understand that it's a, Every, everybody thought that it's very easy to make a new city. Uh -huh. very, oh, why it's not? A, it's, it out, uh -huh. it's a out of scale city. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. yes, but out of okay. scale, yes, yes, of course. But they needed the city. And that's with the reason because everybody, uh, every, uh, yes, but, uh, yes, but everybody thought that it's very easy to make mm -hmm. a city like this and a city like Brasilia, good or so or bad. I don't want to go involved now in this. But it's only one city in a, in a life, or in a life of, of a country. It's, mm -hmm. uh, how many cities do you have in the world that it's begin from, from nothing? Two cities, three cities one each. One in Latin America, or uh, all America, one. Or Washington, maybe, uh, two oh, or three. Really? Yes, but it's each, each. Washington is each seven in, in, the, in the 70s. Yes, but it's each, each that's what I am telling. It's each, 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 it's each it's century, each, maybe each, one each century. <laughs> and here we, we made a loan with one institution, two, but with other institution, I think, that ten more. And all the architects made about between, all the architects, they made about 100 or 150 master plans of, of cities of, the, of, the, of Mexico. With all the studies and all the approach and uh, economical studies, you know everything that you can say. Kind of that big <laughs> multidisciplinary. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have economic sense, but it's nothing. Uh -huh. It's nothing. But the impact is not that. But that's just a loss of time. Mm. Yeah. It's terrible. So you went on to... We put many, many hours of work in this. Well. <laughs> so then you went on to architectural projects. Of course, the 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 always, 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 we always, we, we... After this, well, not only this, we are always was involved with construction, architecture. And after this, I think uh, when this, uh, uh, when this, all these plans was not successful, it was a failed. Well, it's it's came the other president, you know, and always the other president changed the point of view many times that the first president, because this is a, a combination of when we, they, we saw that everything is, doesn't work. Well, we began to go in a more practical point of view to, to look how to build and there. Mm -hmm. We approach some things more in scale, like yeah. the Doroses and the, uh, the, we have a, a good luck that the first uh, big work was uh, the towers of Miskwak, all the development, the complex of 2,100 uh, apartments. And I think this was the big uh, stone that uh, we approached uh, the big projects. I think that it was a good step ahead this this uh, this project. This is the beginning because of your collaboration. Well, in a yeah. I think, and, and mm -hmm. not only in a collaboration, I think our position in in to make big projects in Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, position to make big projects because it was a very successful uh, approach, very very successful, and uh, it's not usual that the the housing of the government are successful. Because it's very, very many things involved. Yeah. It's uh, not only a good design, but uh, a good uh, economical approach. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Mm -hmm. And we took there a good economical approach. It was uh, the combination between the use of the land and the number of the apartment and the, the, the density and all this. And we were uh, lucky with, with very good administrators. With very good administrators. Very good. It was a wonderful administrator that he has uh, we 
think he will love it. Uh, he believed in, in us in, the, in that time. Yeah. Uh, he was a wonderful, and he's, he was involved, this administrator, he was involved always in, in housing. And now he's also in, involved in something like real estate, and he's a very clever man. And uh, uh, he understands our point of view, and, and, uh, and uh, that was the beginning. After this, maybe I want to tell you an, an, an anecdote. I don't know if it is true, but I heard this. I think that you heard this. When it was to, to decide who is going to build the building of Infonavit, that's the housing, the, 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 the housing institution for financial the work, uh, the workers for housing, somebody tells us, I don't know if it is true, but I will tell you, that they discussed who is going to build this. And they discussed that the people that made a PIB and designed it, the most successful apartment housing in, 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 in workers, it's logical that they design the main building of the workers' uh, housing. Yes. I don't know if it is true, but it's very nice to hear. That's right. <laughs> that's <laughs> yes, that's... Something that's, that's, that's very yes. interesting to me is the yes. way uh, your collaboration has uh, developed through the years that you do projects independently, then you come together on mm -hmm. important projects that you uh, want to share. Mm -hmm. uh, would, you, would you like to describe that? And it's not, um, it's, we don't make uh, all the works together. We make only that we want to yes. compartir, compartir uh, what is in, to share, to share. share, to share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All the, the works who came from the same client, we share mm -hmm. automatically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we are not obligated to. That's I think it's a very it's interesting good. arrangement. We yeah. don't. Uh, we have not heard about that here. Mm. Yes, many people uh, are very strange about this arrangement, but we we think that it's it's worked. It's worked, no, because. Uh, we, we, we think that uh, when you have a complete partnership in all the things in the office and, and in, in the secretary in the wasted, it, it, it's, you, you will have something, some frictions, it's logical. Uh, frictions, uh, so it's logical. You can, uh, with your best friend you will have, because if the, the telephone is busy, you want to s speak and uh, some details like this, but if everybody has his own secretary, his own telephone, his own office, you don't have any reason to, to have any, any, any problems, no? That is one way. And the other way is that you don't have any obligation to share uh, the, the, the... Certain things the you, certain you have to... You want to develop alone. Because uh, your client is very close to you, or you want to develop it in a very creative thing, very personal creative motive. Right. So by keeping your office separate, yes. by right. having some independent projects, mm -hmm. by collaborating when you choose yes, to, uh, when we choose you keep to. that collaboration fresh yes. and interesting yeah. and enjoyable. That's a very, very interesting concept. And also it gives us a chance to, to have uh, always uh, young people or new people that it's bring new ideas and you discuss with the ideas and it's in, in a personal, in a small point of view, not in a, in a, uh, like a big institution or like the big uh, firms. No, always in a small scale. Mm -hmm. It sounds really wonderful. Mm. It, and it seems obviously to be very successful with the two of you. Okay. I appreciate your coming and, and talking with us and I thank you very much. We thank you to you. We appreciate yes. your, your interest yes. in this. Yes. Okay. With Taylor Gonzalez de Leon, who has been visiting at SciArc this week. And uh, we're talking a little bit about uh, the two years that uh, Senor Gonzalez de Leon spent in Paris. And uh, I think it all started when you won a scholarship from the French government when you were a student uh, mm -hmm. at the National University, is that yes. right? Yes, I, I had the, the uh, one scholarship.
from the government of France. And uh, it was very libre, free. free, very free. You can uh, do anything in, in this scholarship because I, I was first in the Bossart school, but I, I didn't like it. I, I have in my, in my I have in my man my mind Corbusier. Aha, uh -huh. of course. <laughs> Co but uh, I spent about a month in school. Then I changed to the Ecole des Travaux Publics. It's a school of uh, technicians of uh, uh, concrete. Mm -hmm. They. Uh, Uh, Sobre todo, spe especially uh -huh. with the uh, concrete. Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, France has, or had, I don't know now, very, very good engineers. Yes. Uh, always the, the, the French in engineers. the last uh, century and now, mm -hmm. they had very good engineers. But uh, there was very spe specialized for me. This, then, I, I, I couldn't believe it that I could I could travel work with Corbusier. But when I don't, I realized that the, the school of Bossard and the it was very bad for me, and the Ecole de Travaux Public was very specialized, very complicated to me. Then I knocked the door and. Transact Rue de Sèvres <laughs> in front of the Bon Marché. Yes, that famous address. The, the magazine who was designed by Eiffel. Mm -hmm, I feel. And uh, I enter and I ask for work and they put up to work immediately, the same day. Marvelous. I was working there. It was a very disappointed the environment to ah. me because it was uh, early, early 48, yes, and the traces of the war ah. was very evident. Yes. The ceiling was uh, tela, uh, fabric, uh -huh. but like that. Yes. Incredible. For what water leaking? Oh. Is the atelier was uh, in a space of about uh, 30 meters. It's 90 feet by 14 feet wide. And that's all. One space with windows and one sense and one side, side to a court. It was a non, uh, an monastery? old structure, Mon was it a an monastery? old structure of a monastery. They had uh, they compart compartien, uh, the the uh, partition. No, the there was uh, monks. And oh, still. Yes. Using it. One part of the ah, part of it. The, the structure was uh, the monastery. With the, yes. And part was the office, the atelier. And it was very interesting because uh, you knocked the door and was a little uh, paper in the door. Le Corbusier au fond du couloir. Le Corbusier in the end of the uh -uh. corridor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the sign. That was it. Right in, in, at hand. hand. <laughs> and I, I say, in this place, this man changed the architecture of the world. What? Yes, with the little handwritten sign in the monastery. In this place? He was making the plans of uh, Marseille, because it was oh, yeah. Claudius Petit. Yes. Yeah was the minister, he was the friend of Cozy, yes. Claudius Petit, and he was making the plans of, Le Co of Marseille, and 
from the war until these plans, he had money to replace, to renovate ah, the, the, the office. The office. The yeah. And he put all of us in uh, different houses. Uh, while, while the construction was yeah, going on. While the construction, on. Uh, two months. Oh. And for me, it was formidable because, because I, he took me to his house. Oh, yeah. and then I work with him all the mornings in his house. I look his private life two months. Mm -hmm. It was very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Rue Nungusi Ecole. Hmm? On the Rue Nungusi Ecole. Nungusi Ecole. Nungusi Ecole. Nungusi Ecole. It's the name of two, uh, uh, two uh, uh, pilots. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, very famous. He was uh, uh, dead in the, in, the in the 20s. In the crash. The early, like Limburg, uh -huh. the, uh, the same time. We went to visit that house yeah? last year with a group of the students. And there's an architect working there, Wojanski. Wojanski lives, uh, he was living there, but, but after many critics, he... He moved out? He moved, and uh, he put on his satellite. Oh. Yes, yes I think it's, it's not a good taste yeah, yeah. to live in the yeah. same house mm -hmm. of Le Corbusier. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, he was very uh, gracious about allowing us to come and visit. He's a very nice person. And to, to, we didn't meet him, but we He was uh, in no. the same time. Ah, uh, yes. Yes? Well, yes, ah. he is. He was an apprentice at the same time? No, he was the chief uh, atelier. Ah, he was the chief. Ah. Yes, okay. Wojanski. He was there in the same time, Bobianski, mm -hmm. the engineer. Yes. Uh, Nikos, the engineer. Um, Salmona. Uh, Serralta. The Salmona, they are. Salmona is the, is, uh, no, Salmona is a uh, Colombian. Bogota. Yes, it make The brick. Yes, it okay. many structures. Mm -hmm. It's very good architect, Salmona. Salmona, yes. And George Candiris? At the same time. George Candiris is a very good architect. Oh, that was an exciting make. time to be there. Working Keep on... Woods. Woods, mm-hmm. And uh, Alfonso, Nadir Alfonso, is a painter and architect, Portuguese. Very good. So it was an international group. Absolutely international. There were all, only one French. It's very important that because that uh, you can imagine the ambient of the Corbusier in France. Mm -hmm. No response. Hmm. When all the, the time I was there, all the days, it was a visit from any part of the world. At least one person went to Silicon Corbusier to sing that, sign a book or mm -hmm. to, to work or yeah. only to, to see the Corbusier. Mm -hmm. To make a pilgrimage. Yes, we but say. no French people, international people mm -hmm. from all the, all the world, mm -hmm. not from France. That's a very sad problem. Yes. Do you think he was bothered by that? Oh, yes. I think yes. Absolutely. He felt he wasn't appreciated by his own people. It was a true. <laughs> it was really. Yeah. It, it was not appreciated in France. Did that change after the Marseille block was constructed? Was there a favorable reaction to that in Perhaps, the, but within I, the country? I don't uh, know that yeah. because you weren't there after it yes. was open. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did you actually work on the drawings uh, of I began the with lunatic? drawing uh, uh, mm. technical drawings of, of uh, structural drawings. Mm -hmm. 
in this section of infrastructure. But uh, I, I, I said to me, let's do these drawings very well to notice. Then yeah. <laughs> I made very good drawings of the pilotis of the uh, iron bars of the pilotis of like, uh, the Marseille building. Then the Corbusier noticed the, the drawing, put this man in this section <laughs> and the other section. <laughs> then I go to the architectural section uh -huh. so in about one week. Uh -huh. You attracted his attention with your good yeah. drawing. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, was uh, that the only project that you worked on? No. We were working in the in the, the first crocus, the first studies of the Ronchamp Chapel. Ah, wonderful. It was a very long work, the Ronchamp Chapel. Yes, because it was done in the fifties. Yeah. And uh, a little shop. He don't realize. No, he it was don't. Was not executed. Was not built. And. Uh, a little shop to sell shoes. Uh -huh. uh, oh, the Bali shop. The Bali shop. Yes. The Bali shop, and um, in the same place of the Malette Sevens, uh -huh. had, had made the Bali. It, it was to redo. It was absolutely the destroyed. Oh, it was the one that Malette well, the did. War. Yes. Ah. Then Corbusier want to make in this place, but he loves the work of Mallet Stevens. Yes, yes it's, they said no. We we were uh, uh, no, no. We were very um, uh, surprised. Surprised of that. Yes. Ah, that he because he never it. he never say anything of any architect. Ah. That's very interesting. Never. No. Uh, he, he said very good things of Malitza Stevens. That's very interesting. We, I wondered about that because his work, the main body of work that Molly Stevens did, mm -hmm. was very close to the La Roche. Yes. Jean Aré house. Two just houses. Around the yes, corner. just around the corner. And I wondered how they related, and, and so that's very interesting to hear you say that. And if if you see the the numbers of the L'Esprit Nouveau. Uh -huh. There are many works of Malita Steven published in the Esprit Nouveau Review, mm -hmm. who managed Le Corbusier. Yeah. Then I n know later that they had they had good relations. But uh, this little shop was very interesting because they in the, in this shop Le Corbusier don't have uh, structural work. Then it's only plaster work. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. This mm -hmm. interior development. Interior. And interesting, he would want to do that. Yes. Such a small little yeah. job at that time. It's, it's uh, absolutely decorative, mm -hmm. art decorative. Uh huh. In the Yeah. He he told them. Art decorative. C'est de l'art décoratif, ça. Uh -huh. <laughs> And so that was developed during the time that you were in the mm, Yes. I was charged with the design ah. of, the, of yeah. the drawings. And the uh, Atelier Duval in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. It's a little uh, fabrica. Uh, factory. Factory That's in four stories mm -hmm. with Brissolet. Concrete. And concrete and many colors in the interior. It's very nice uh, little building, industrial building. Mm -hmm. In San Diego. Uh, and uh, in of this work, San Diego and Marseille, we were also um, sent to the work. Uh -huh. to, the to supervise. Yes. That was very interesting because in Marseille, we sent with the Candelis was the chief uh -huh. of supervisor. Yes. 
and he took me and we spent two weeks in, uh, in uh, Marseille. And I think we had a very interesting experience there because the Corbusier never, he, 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 it was the early beginning of the work. The two first pilotis put it in, in place. Ah, so they were done two by two? We were desolated when we see the, the take out of ah, the forms. when they took the forms yes. off, the pattern of the wood. Yes, we see the, the work very uh, crude. Crude. We, I don't want to use the, the, the word brutal because he took the took Yes, <laughs> he, he coined the word. We made the uh, report and we took, we sent to the Corbusier. The Corbusier went. He never said anything. He saw and he took the Italian contractor. Very good. Ah. Like that. I like that. The, the concrete talk now. <laughs> <laughs> was a lesson for us. <laughs> you were surprised, but he liked it. <laughs> he liked it. It was the, the beginning of the brutalism. Uh -huh. He because liked the sculptural aspect of it. Yes, and the brutal aspect, yeah. because the the difference in the in the in the wood is not one one uh, half an, an inch. It's, it was one inch. <laughs> the difference of mm -hmm. depth. So it, it really was very very, very strong. Very strong and and very bad done. <laughs> yeah. Very but, but that didn't bother him. No, no. It was a crude kind of yes. job. Mm -hmm. But maybe he was excited by that strong pattern. Because with the light and the very good Making shadows. Yes. Yeah. That's, it was a that's very, very good experience, and, and I think that was the beginning of the of the brutalism. Mm -hmm. This is the first work in the world of the, of this kind of mm -hmm. treatment in, yes. in the concrete. All the architects, Smithsons, the Smithsons with the yes. theater, yes. all they going to they see that. that so it wasn't something that he had intended to produce initially. It Perhaps it, not, but... It, it developed he, by chance, he, and yes. he responded to it. And it's like it. uh, when a, pen, a painter uh, make a mistake with a, with a color, yes. and what do he make rapidly, and he, he transformed the, the, the mistake in a, in a good thing. Yes. Yes. I think it's the same. Yes. Look over here. Yes, that's a wonderful, did in, in wonderful this moment. story. Well, we spent two years there. I think it's very uh, unforgettable. I'm sure. I'm sure. To uh, know this man, yes. How how did he relate to you on a personal level? I think very well, but uh, he was very serious. But he very sad people. <laughs> He was not uh, very sad, mm -hmm. really serious and, and sad. His, his nature was yes, very uh, serious. Not sad, not serious, more sad. Than, more than serious. So focused on his work. Always. Was there a, never a gay side to him, never a happy? No. Aspect of his personality. Always very deeply involved with what mm -hmm. he was doing and caring passionately about yeah. everything. No jokes? No jokes. Irony, yes. Yes? Yes, uh, but cruel. That's all. Mm -hmm. To people he knew well. With people who he knew well. The jokes. No jokes, uh, irony. Oh. Mm -hmm. But he was nice to you. Yes, I think. Kind to you. Very, I think you said he was kind, kind to, to me. 
I had very good letters from him. Yeah. <laughs> letters of recommendation? No, letters uh, from... To him. Yeah. From him to you. Yeah. And very good drawings. Yeah. Ah, wonderful. He gave me. <laughs> wonderful. How about his painting? Were you uh, around when well, he was Well, because I was two months with him in his house. I saw the way he worked. Look, the Corbusier don't work in architecture in the morning. He took, uh, at seven o'clock, he... Took a walk? Uh, he ran? He ran. Like the joggers? Yes, because today? do you remember in the front of New Jersey College, yeah. there was in a stadium. Yeah. He traversed, the, he crossed the, the, the street and he... he would Take a run. Take a run on one uh, kilometer. Very good. At seven o'clock. He, he takes his uh, breakfast, his petit déjeuner, mm -hmm. and uh, Café, he spent croissant. only cafe croissant. Mm -hmm. uh, and he spent one hour or, or two to respond letters. He was a writer. Yes. Don't, rem don't, yes. Yes. don't forget. Yes. Then he began to paint. Until every, every day? Every day, until uh, one o'clock. One, on one o'clock. He had the breakfast. And... Uh, No, that's all right. No? He's just giving me a sign for the time. He, 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 he did his uh, lunch, lunch time. Mm -hmm. And after the lunch, he went to the atelier. He arrived uh, about uh, two and a half or three until eight or eight thirty. That was his day. Hmm. That's very interesting. Uh, he was a uh, writer, painter, an architect. Right. And if you want, he uh, was a sportman. Yeah. <laughs> the running. <laughs> the running. running. Well, that had to do with his good health, keeping himself yes. healthy. Yeah. But he didn't know his heart was bad. Well, but, Never. Look, but look how long he lived. Yes. It was a very good day. It, it was good uh, until then. To, 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 to die in the, in the sea is yeah. wonderful. Yeah, huh? yeah. A very in poetic. In the summer. And yeah. A very poetic ending. But at the end, he was very, very alone. Because his, his wife was dead. Yeah. And he, want to, he didn't want to see any, any person. Mm. Because George Candidis, Tell me, I each week I talk telephone. Hello, George. No, no, I don't want to see you. Hmm. So he closed. Oh, come, but uh, only ten minutes. And hmm. He was really bad. Hmm. Completely alone. I didn't. I didn't see it. Only I have letters of this period, yes. but. And, uh, but Candelis yeah. told me yeah. of these last years that was uh, good for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But nobody no. knows. No, that was his choice at that time. Yes. And at least the end was quick. Mm -hmm. And very poetic. I think. Oh, very good. I think he would have liked that. Very good. To have that. Uh, it was, I'm sure, a wonderful period in your life to have spent there. I think so. And it's very kind of you to uh, share some of these stories and memories with us, and we appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Thank great, you, great, you. Great. I'm talking this, uh, this evening with Augusto Alvarez, here visiting at Arc from Mexico City. And uh, as always, uh, I'm interested in the beginning years. Mm -hmm. You, you were um, graduated from the National University yes. before yes. it moved? Uh, yes, so it's the I, old, was in the, the old I was in the school that uh, 
of the traditional school from uh, uh, the end from the end of uh, of the 19th century, and, the, and uh, it has a very good uh, uh, image all over the the university because it was a certain uh, special things uh, and, uh, that uh, make a traditional uh, aspect of the architect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in Mexico. And before that, and that so I'm sure that uh, some of my colleagues uh, have said uh, is that uh, this school was uh, a, a byproduct of the engineering school. And uh, but uh, as a reaction, reaction or, uh, against the the, uh, the engineering school, the architects try to to show themselves as, uh, very particular subjects. Then they start uh, making a, a certain ceremony that was called the. Uh, how do you name, uh, how do you uh, name uh, Nacimiento? Uh, uh, birth? Um, yes, or anniversary? Uh, I, I, yes, well, uh, yes. It's a sort of... Uh, a celebration. A celebration, because the new ones, uh, the new uh, uh, students... Ah, the incoming students. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, uh, I heard about that. Uh, yes. With the parade? Uh-huh, yes, yes, the parade and the, and the... Well, some activities that are... Uh -huh. Some of them very Spirit. graceful, but uh, some others, yeah, with the development of the of the school, when we were uh, uh, more people, uh, was uh, uh, were in some in some way uh, not very agreeable. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, were you a student of Jose Diagran? Yes, I was. I was uh, when I entered uh, the school. Uh, Jose Diagran was the direct the dean of the school. Mm -hmm. He was uh, uh, very uh, famous uh, for uh, for these years because uh, those years because uh, uh, he was the uh, undoubtedly he was uh, the beginner of uh, of the new movement uh, of architecture in our country. Uh, and so he, uh, he influenced the young people. Yes, cool. and uh, uh, at the when uh, Villagran uh, was dean, the entire schedule schedule of uh, studies were, uh, was changed, uh, was modernized, uh, modernized, mm -hmm. and uh, I suppose it uh, uh, makes a, a point of departure for the new schools developed after mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. At, uh, as you know, the School of Architecture by the, uh, in those years was uh, a copy of the uh, School uh, of Beaux Arts. Uh, mm -hmm. As all our schools Paris, were uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we start uh, as um, uh, students of uh, Beaux Arts, making the same kind of, uh, of work making uh, uh, large drawings, large copies of, uh, of uh, the classical uh, subjects. Uh, the classic subjects mm -hmm. and uh, also the classic uh, buildings of the Renaissance, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, Gothic uh, era. Or, but it was very interesting as uh, I, I suppose that uh, this kind of, uh, of thing uh, this transition was very sweet. Well, uh, I have a, a philosophy that uh, if you uh, get every day just a little step ahead, you are making something. Mm -hmm. well, then mm, maybe uh, in a li lifetime you can't achieve this, but you are trying to do it. Mm -hmm. It's better than to do it. Forget that uh, we are human beings that uh, live in an architecture that we we create 
that's the the worst thing. That, uh, we are not machines. We have, uh, how do you say, uh, some uh, aspirations and uh, defects <laughs> and uh, bad uh, uh, habits or many things, but you must take care of them. If you don't care about this, you aren't making architecture. The architect is a, a service mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. task. Mm -hmm. Architecture is a service task, mm -hmm. not any. Not any other thing. Well, I think that's a, a very positive note on which to conclude our, our little discussion. Right. Thank right. you very much for no, coming. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. Thank you.